Ladies and gents and the rest, today we have five more units with all talents. Let's video demonstrate all those talents. Gargoyle, talent number one, Wing Buffet, increases movement speed by 33%. That's exactly what it says, on the left side the buffed one, on the right side no talent or any other talents. As you can see it moves much faster. Next talent is Aerial Superiority. Incoming damage from flying minis is reduced by 50%. Alright. On the left side, this is a you see the power of this talent on the left side is it's any other talent. As you can see, Gargoyle lives much longer. Talent number three, Obsidian Statue. Obsidian Statue. Jesus Christ. On death, summon a statue with a taunt. Lasts until destroyed. Mechanic is very interesting. Here's how it works. So the gargoyle is flying. Gets skilled. Boom. This is the radius of a taunt. It only triggers when somebody is inside of this radius. In other words, it triggered now. Watch. So we kill... Uh, Flamewalker, and it keeps taunting because <laughs> accidentally it's in the range of this uh, enemy's tower. So you see, it keeps taunting every, every like one or two seconds. Then boom, we take the tower, and it stops taunting. And it's going to stay here until somebody is inside of the circle. So you can technically use this unit as a tank as well. If flying units or uh, ranged units kill the gargoyle, it's, it just drops on the ground as a statue and you can use it as a tank it tanks pretty well so what do we take uh movement speed is the it's probably the most uh, need to think out of these three talents. I, in my opinion, it should be built in. But since it's not, uh, movement speed, wing buffet is number one talent, 100%. Um, I would say obsidian statue is number two. Not that if it's used a lot, because everybody, 100% of people, whether it's PvE or PvP, they use wing buffet. I have never seen anything else used. Uh, by the way, uh, aerial superiority does not reduce damage from flying bosses. Even though it should, but it's a bug. Because other things that have to do with flying units in the game apply to flying bosses. But this one doesn't. I tested it. I just didn't include the footage. Um, so, yeah. It, uh, flying bosses will still do 100% of damage to aerial superiority talent. So yeah, wing, wing buffet number one, obsidian statue number two, uh, aerial superiority number three. Noel Brute, talent number one, rabbit, reduce deploy cost by one gold and gain the cycle trait. Okay, so as you can see now it costs two gold, which means uh, you can get slot bonuses uh, from uh, cycle traits as well. It's two gold and mm, very important thing, uh, at even level, like this guy has a lot of hp and the way he attacks is like hogger so he hits everything uh in front of him not like a cone but like semicircle and yeah this is a very powerful unit for two gold you're gonna get a very very big fat tank next talent is pillage deal siege damage all right now you're a siege damage guy Boom, you get plus two gold just for taking the summoning stone. Why? Because obviously I'm using uh, this uh, null inside of the Sneed's deck. And as we know, when a siege unit takes a tower or summoning stone or a gold chest, you get extra gold. So that's exactly 
uh, what it's for. This is a very tanky, slow, um, fat beast unit who is now Siege. And we can get some value out of it. Next talent is Thick Hide. Gain armor. So on the left side, we're armored. On the right side, we're not. And as you can see, the left guy lives much longer uh, when he is attacked by units with physical damage, which is Harpies, one of the strongest units. Uh, one of the highest DPS in the game. Uh, yeah. If you're armored, you get 50% less physical damage. And in some contexts, maybe it's going to be useful. I haven't found this context, but this is what it looks like. So what do we take? Number one is Rabbit, obviously, um, because a two gold null is the most... It creates a little disbalance, right? The guy is super pooper fat, high HP unit for two gold. The problem with this null brute unit in general is that it's barely used anywhere. Sometimes you will see it in a beast deck very rarely, mostly because, first of all, this guy is very slow. So when you deploy him, uh, and you deploy, uh, you know, you usually use uh, fast moving, like fast units inside of the beast decks, this guy is always going to be behind. And it's he's supposed to be in front because he's a tank. So he's barely used. But yeah, even if you use it, Rabbit is number one usually. Uh, Pillage is number two. Siege damage, like I said, you can, you can combine it with Sneed and get, you know, for three, again, three gold. That's the problem with this guy. He costs three gold. Um, but you can, again, if you want, uh, maybe you'll find some cool combos with uh, Siege uh, Null. I have no idea. And Thick Hide is... Yeah, it, I mean, it gives a bonus, but uh, you, you, like the other two talents are much better, right? So you take this as, as a third. Rabbit number one, Pill Pillage number two, Thick Hide number three. Blame Walker... Number one is Backdraft. Successive attacks increase flame wave distance. Resets on movement. Here is what you need to understand about this talent. Here is where it ends. This is a one attack. Here's the second attack right here. So in, it, it does increase the wave uh, size. However, after that, it's not going to increase. So you, on, you only increase it twice. You need to do two attacks and you're at maximum range. That's what you need to know. Next talent is Heat Stroke, damaging enemies dazes them. Here's how it works. It dazes enemies, obviously, on the, on the attack. Uh, so, dazing is minus 33 movement and attack speed, I believe. So, yeah, you see how slow they are? So, by the time they get to your Flame Walker, uh, they're gonna die. And not only that, but also, like, imagine if you're covered by a tank, for example, or a healer. So, you're gonna be unkillable. Unfortunately, it's only for ground units, but it's extremely powerful. And the third talent is Engulf. Damaging enemies burns them. Basically what it does is it just hits harder in terms of numbers, you see? They burn, they burn, burn. Da -da -da -da. Nothing special, uh, no secret hidden mechanics, just more damage on hit. And in case you don't have, uh, you're not able to do a lot of hits you do one hit and die and then they keep burning for eight seconds right which is a lot of damage all right what do we take uh number one we take a uh, backdraft 
because uh, like this uh, talent covers literally the whole screen. Uh, a lot of times I was uh, fighting against somebody, I was attacking something, and it was attacking everything that was coming from behind, from from like the, everything that was behind the unit that I was attacking, and it would hit the tower and something else. It's really really good talent out of this tree. This is number one hundred percent. Number two, I would take heat strike, uh, the one that dazes enemies, uh, very helpful as well. So you get a slow effect, uh, and it's AOE slow. You're pretty much slow again, like I said, half of the screen on hit. Um, and a lot of things will not even even come closer to you because of that. And number three is engulf, obviously. Not that if we need that. But we, this guy does a lot of damage, and we don't need more. But as a third talent, yeah, if you, that's how you take it. Safe pilot. Talent number one, Gnomish Cloaking Device. Deploy from the explosion with stealth. Here is how it works. You deploy your safe pilot. Boom. So you do a hit and you're still invisible and you do another hit and then you become visible. So that is how it functions. Obviously, this is like the top unit in PvP and this is the top talent in PvP. But we'll talk about talents. Coming in hot. Deploy twice as fast and burn nearby enemies, but deal 33% less crash damage. Here's the top superpower, the main superpower of this unit. It deploys much faster on the left side than the one on the right side. Because even if it even though it does reduce damage on, on crash, uh, overall it's more or less the same damage because it, it will be compensated by burning it applies, right? And burning lasts, you know, eight seconds and stuff like that. However, it deploys much faster, which some people value more than the stealth talent because of the speed of the deploy. You can steal chests, you can, you know, kill things faster, you know, stuff like that. So the biggest superpower of this talent is deploy deploying faster. Talent number three, Nomish Mat... Polymorph the first blaster target. Alright, so I'm gonna throw it on the side to not make a mess on the screen. And we're going to attack the first target. Boom! As you can see, it's a ship now. So, that's what it does. So what do we take? It's never-ending discussion between high-level players. Some people say Gnomish Cloaking Device is better, some people say Coming in Hut is better. However, uh, I'm gonna simplify it for everybody. Uh, let's just take uh, Stealth as a first talent, because uh, don't forget that uh, high-level PvP players, they only play PvP because they wailed their PvE uh, campaign completely, so they don't care about PvE. Players like us, we do. So you take a Gnomish Cloaking Device because it's extremely good in PvP and it has more usage in PvE. Then you, say, you take Common in Hot 100% <laughs> if you took the <laughs> Stealth first. And then this uh, Polymorph Garbage, I don't even know how to pronounce it and I don't want to know, to be honest. It's, uh, it's completely bad in order to... Uh, like to get a value out of this talent, you need to hit the first right target, even if you plan to, you know, to polymorph something. And then you need to survive the hit. You know, when you hit, everybody's gonna see you and you have to hit in the middle of the fight. So, you know, so you do damage with uh, with your landing hit, right? It's just, it's just not good. It's, uh, it sounds cool in theory. In practice, I've never seen uh, anybody get uh, get any value out of it. So. Uh, Nomish Clocking Device number one, coming in hot three, Polymorph. Nomish Clocking Device number one, coming in hot number two, and the Polymorph on the first hit number three. Spider Links, down number one, Frostbite, gain frost. Basically, what you need it for is to slow some fat, big, single target units. Things like Molten Giant, 
things like, uh, as you can see, Earth Elemental, uh, Warsong Raiders, Torrents, you know, stuff like that. They are extremely powerful against those guys because they do elemental damage, they apply poison, and they slow, which turns slow units into just piece of garbage. Talent number two, Bloated Carapace. I, I, hope I, say, I hope I said that right. Explode on death, poisoning nearby enemies. All right. So the what this talent does is even if you don't kill, any, don't hit anybody like these three poor spiders, you still up, do a lot of damage. So this resistant huntress lost almost half of her HP because she killed those spiders. So that is the power of this talent. It's actually really useful. And the third talent is Envenom. Deal twice as much poison damage. So on the left side, we have the ones with talent. On the right side, we don't have this talent. So you see these spiders, they barely hit Huntress and die. And what happens is, because they do double poison damage, Huntress on the left side dies, on the right side it survives. So two identical situations, but the double poison uh, makes a huge difference. So what do we take? Honestly, I used to advocate for Frostbite as a first talent, but after I tried all of them, which happened, I don't know, two years after the I first time played this game. I, yeah, this is the first time when I tried all three talents. Uh, I would say that uh, Bloated Carapace Explosion on Death is actually much better. Because if you use it in PvP, you can get a lot of value out of it. If you split the spiders and, uh, you know, somebody kills them, they actually do a lot of damage. So, if I was a beginner and I had to pick something, not that if you're going to use this unit uh, everywhere, but just in case, in case somebody finds something, I would go with explode with, with this bloated cap explosion on death. Number two is Frostbite, because it works really well against enemies, heroes, and, you know, I think uh, bosses, by the way, because we have, in PvE we'll have a lot of, like, it's, a, it's not just the enemy's core, right? It's a boss, so it's a live creature, which means it can be slowed. And number three in Venom, again, it's a great talent as well. It just has to be number three, because the other two are a little, a little bit better, in my opinion. And uh, this explosion on death, you, you kind of get a value out of it, even if you have no idea what you're doing right which is good so ladies and gents this is it i will see you next time with five more units that's all